when you're scouting relatively flat land, it's the highest elevations and the lowest elevations you got to key in on. When you're seeking out hunting spots in big woods, elevation is one of the top three factors you have to consider when choosing areas to concentrate on. This is some big timber. It took a while to walk back in here. Uh, studying the area and uh, studying the timber. Uh, when I flipped over to terrain, I noticed there was a draw here where most of this area is flat, but right down here, there's a draw. So I wanted to come to this area based on what I saw. I have a lot of people come to me and, and, and ask me to look at properties for them. And they'll tell me, it's just flat and everything's the same. Where do I begin? Well, it's probably not really as flat as what you're perceiving it in your mind. I go to these properties and I look around and I see a little bit of elevation. I see a little high rise. It doesn't have to be a mile high. You look at this and years ago, the state had this dug out and they piled the dirt on the sides to drain this swamp and create this wood lot. And where they dump that dirt, that berm on both sides, is going to have good buck bedding all the way along and I guarantee it. There's no parking anywhere along here. You just drop right off into the swamp. I don't think anybody's really following that back. And if you did, it's all nasty and wet. There's, you know, still swampy areas you gotta cross, and most of these guys won't walk through water. When you get steep rolling hills, that leeward side, the downwind side of the hill, is hot. But now we've beaten that dead horse quite a bit. Um, we did a whole video on hill bedding. And if your big woods area is very hilly, you probably need to refer to that video as well as this one. However, where people struggle a little bit is with the low hills, the very low rolling or very low elevation, where to them it seems real flat. You're still going to get that bedding on those leeward sides, even if it's only a 10 foot elevation change. Then if you get really flat, then what you're going to look for is the highest and the lowest elevations. I see a transition, a thicker transition. If you look at the ground, there's little ridges and that are going to create uh, bedding humps. And there's good trails going in there. So that's something we're going to key in on. So, if you look out and you see a little bit of a rise, if you go to that rise, you'll notice vegetation changes, everything changes with just a foot or two of elevation. That'll create bedding, that'll create cover. They love that stuff. Even though it looks so subtle to you, it's a huge deal in a big woods environment. I think the number one thing to look for in big woods is water. Beds isolated by water. It gets them away from wolves, it gets them away from hunters. It has good escape. They like water for escape. But the elevation factor comes in there too. So if you can get high up and look over a swamp, if you can find a way to get elevated into the air, a drone, a tree stand, on top of a hill from a highway, and just glass out over that, that swamp. And sometimes you see it on a topo too. But if you see a change in a small area out in that swamp of vegetation, like say a small group of hardwood trees that's out in the tamaracks, uh, different kind of trees, a little higher elevation, there's probably a little island, might only be a few feet out of the water or whatever. Those elevations are what you're looking for. That's what those bucks are keying in on. And when you get into those big vast areas that are confusing everybody else, it gets pretty easy when you start looking at it like, well, there's only 10 places out here that have that elevation change. Well, that's your 10 hunting spots in that area. It's pretty much that easy. It's just people make it hard by 
looking at it like it's so vast and don't know where to start, I'm giving you the place to start. If you have any doubts of this elevation stuff, just go out and do your scouting. Look for those elevations. Walk to them. And when you start seeing more than half of the ones that you're going to have the bedding, it starts to dawn on you that that's the stuff you need. Now the hard part is, you get a high spot out in, with open terrain around it, try to get near that buck when he's bedded there. But if you know he's bedded there, and you come in with a plan, and you know where he's headed because you scouted, because you looked at the trails, then you got a, a pretty good chance of scoring. So look at a topo map of a large forested area. And you can start to concentrate on, well, this is all just kind of the same elevation. We'll just cross that area out. This area is too open. This area has too much access to people. Hey, look here. An isolated area with lots of elevation change. I'd be looking there. Here I'm in a white pine plantation. And everything's kind of the same. All these white pines everywhere, same age class. But what we have here is we got a little bit of a slope, a little tiny ridge. And once again, that little elevation creates bedding. Something that most people ain't going to notice and you probably ain't going to see on a topo map because it's not more than a few feet. But right along this elevation, there's bedding going up and down here. Now, look at the size of this bed. This is just huge. And there's marks right in the tree here. Got a bed there, bed there, bed there, and there's little marks in the trees at each of the beds. If you take one thing away from this video, what I want it to be is that when you're hunting relatively flat land, you seek out the lowest elevations and the highest elevations. I want to give a quick shout out before I end the video to my Uncle Lou, your Uncle Lou, everybody's Uncle Lou from Stealth Outdoors. Stealth Outdoors produces stealth strips, a silent tape you put on your tree stands, your climbing sticks, your ladders, your soda cans, and no that's not a coke, I'm not a commie, I'm not a liberal commie, it's not a coke. Stealth strips is silencing tape. Really sticky. It's the best on the market. Quiet, thin, light. Stuff's good. If you want to roll, there's two ways you can get it. Number one, you can go to stealthoutdoors.com. Look in the message underneath the video. I have the, the web address. The other way is to win a roll. And we're going to give away a huge roll of stealth tape. In order to win, go underneath and tell me what you'd use it for. Now, like always, don't be honest. Don't tell the truth. Make something up that's funny and makes me laugh. Tell me how you'd use stealth strips. What you do with it. <laughs> tell me what you do that's funny with your stealth strips. Make me laugh. And I'll make Uncle Lou send you that giant roll of stull strips. See ya.